In this video, you will learn how to insert a pie graph, format the pie graph, and print. So first up, I have my data set here, neatly formatted in a table. I first highlight the data that I want to compose my pie graph with. I select insert pie, and it gives me a number of cho choices for options. I never want the 3D, always a two-dimensional version, so I'll click OK. And for now, I will modify the size of the pie so that it is over here on the right, and it fits on my screen. And I will format it over here and then eventually move it into its final position. First off, I can go over to the chart tools and in the design layout tab, I do not want a legend, so I'll turn that off. I also want to add some data labels, but first I want to get rid of this coloring. In order to do that, I can right click on the pie itself, select format data series, and go to the fill, no fill, when I click close, and then click off of that chart, you'll notice that it disappears. That's because without a fill and without a border, there's nothing. So I'll click on the pie again, right click, select format data series, border color, a solid line, and for my border styles, increase the width of that line to 1.5. Click off, and you can see that I have a nice solid thick line, perhaps a little too thick. So I will format that border styles and decrease it to 1.25. I'd like to add some data labels. Clicking on the chart, the chart tools pop up again. From the layout, I would like to go to data labels. And I can add my labels to the center, inside end, outside end, or best fit. Now, in the center, they look like that. Inside end, outside end. What I want to do is have them in the center to start, and I need to format them. To do that, go to Data Labels, More Data Label Options, where you can now see that I can add the series name, category name, the value which was already there, percentage, and if you know me, you know I do not want the percentage, do not want the value, or the series name. I want just the category name. I also want my label position to start off in the center. When I do that, I don't like the positioning of the labels. And I also don't like the way the pie slices are not sorted. If I want to sort my pie slices, what I have to do is highlight the data table, select data, sort, and select the column. I have two choices because I did include the column titles. They will be here in the sort by drop down list box. I want to sort by the land area, smallest to largest. Click OK. In my table, they are from smallest to largest. It's actually from my largest down to my smallest. I don't like the starting angle. I really would like that over here. To do that, I will right click, format my data series. And my very first option here, series options, I have the angle of the first pie slice. I can change that using this scroll bar. But I'm just going to type in 90 degrees, press enter and there it is it starts off here for my largest pie slice working its way back down to the smallest pie slice I do like the positioning of some of these labels some of them I don't so if I click once it selects all the labels clicking a second time I get an individual label and I can move that label into a much better position inside the pie slice if there's a label that doesn't belong in a pie slice can't fit, I can always take these labels outside of the pie and it will automatically put leader lines on there for me. If you recall, I did have a checkbox selected for my leader lines. So moving my labels outside of the pie, like so. Now the biggest pie slice, I don't want it to be attached to the pie. I want to highlight it in some way. If I click once and then drag, it appears like I'm removing that largest pie slice, but when I release, you'll see that it, it actually separates all the pie slices. I don't want to do that, so I'll press Control Z. By clicking once on the pie, it selects the entire pie. You can see that by the handles that are on all the slices. Clicking a second time on my desired slice, now the handles are here on the one slice for Asia. Clicking that and pulling it away from the pie just slightly, 
it removes the largest pie slice. I like my pie graph now. I like the largest pie slice removed. I like the position of the labels. At this point, I think I'm ready to print. If I select File, Print, right now, my print preview shows that just the chart itself will be printed. That's not what I want. And that happens if I click on the home because the, the pie chart has been selected. I have to click off of the pie chart and now go to file print and my print preview will give me both the spreadsheet table and the pie chart. But it's going to go on two pages. I can see that here because at the bottom it says one of two which I don't want. I don't want to waste paper. I want to bring that chart below the table back to home grab the chart, put it underneath my table. You'll also note that there's dashed lines that show me where the edge of the page is. So I can decrease the width so that it fits inside those dashed lines, stretching my chart. Excel 2010 is pretty decent at keeping the formatting. I do notice that Oceana here, the label is a little off. So I'm going to click once on the pie. Clicking outside of the pie, there's a box that encloses this pie. You can't see it until you click in this area right here. There's the box. I'm now going to move my pie slightly to the left, creating a little bit more room on the right hand side for that label. I do like my pie, I like my labels, I like the largest pie slice removed. I'm going to print preview, clicking off the chart. I like that. I have maximized the use of the page. My one last thing is to put my source at the bottom. I'm going to merge these four cells here by selecting format, going down to format cells on my alignment tab. I can select merge cells and wrap text, click OK. And inside this cell, I will put my source. It automatically wraps for me and I press enter. It disappeared there, that's no problem. I can stretch my cell. Of course, my source shouldn't be this big. I will highlight all the text, change the font size to something a little bit more meaningful like nine. I also need to format the title here. Titles should be in italics as per APA rules. I'll do one last print preview and print.